All right. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Okay, let's get this started. First off, let me actually share the video, and then we'll get right into the news. Now, Tory Lane's lawyer has spoken out and kind of like talked about his innocence. Uh, even <laughs> this is such this is probably the spookiest story of 2020 regarding entertainers. I mean, this is really weird. <laughs> This you got to agree with that. It's just the weirdest thing. I mean, there's more developments coming and it's like, you know, like didn't this happen like three months ago at this point And now we're still dealing with it. It's like, dude, like what happened? You know, Meg got on live and, and when it was a legal matter and, and, and talked about it, you know, cause uh, you're guilty by public opinion at that point, you know, instead of going through the motions and, you know, doing a police report and everything. And um, let's get right into it. Hold on one sec. Oh, what is this? Donald Trump dropped that F-bomb. Ooh. Anyways, let's get right into it. So first off, we're going to talk about Young Jock. Make sure you smash that like button if you're getting in the room. Hot sauce, Josh N., Todd Mason, Demario, Reppin' Times, I see you, Glue Gang, Kareem88, Tony, Taz, Drunkle, I like that, Drunkle, <laughs> alright, so uh, let's get right into the news, we're gonna talk about Young Jock first, Young Jock made some comments, saying, remember people what you have, even your own people want what you have, and it's showing, uh, Omarion and Little Fizz, uh, friend over there, uh, his friend Little Fizz, ex-friend, stealing his woman, um, then we got Ari, first you got, uh, G Herbo and Moneybag Yo hanging out, and then eventually he ends up with Ari, which is G Herbo's baby mom, crazy, alright, so anyways, we're gonna get into, like, Ari responded to this, which shows insecurity. Now, Ari has been in the news a lot lately. Why isn't this uh, going to the next one? Okay. So, Ari has been in the news a lot lately because Ra'ali is saying that her ex-man is now dating Ari while with Moneybag Yo. Is Moneybag Yo going to go down as simp of the year? Drunko, if you don't want to be in the live... You can leave. Uh, we're having fun in here. Wild Boys, Desmond, Demario, I see you. Drunko, I appreciate you coming in. But if you don't, if you don't want to watch this, it's okay. You can check out the other videos. This is live where we just be chilling. All right. Young Jock is speaking facts, my G. Okay. Now, uh, Ari the Don says we didn't go to sleep till six a.m., but we slept so good. Okay. <laughs> Romantic. Then she says they spent more time together when Yosin was getting dropped off at home than they did in that picture. Please mind your business. Uh, God bless you and your bank account. Oh, it goes to money because Ari b believes she is up right now more than Young Jock is. Even though Young Jock is doing a lot of stuff, he's on the radio, he's promoting an app kind of like Uber. Uh, that's why you saw that video of him looking like he was an Uber driver. Um, and you know, it's like, Ari, you're a model and Fashion Nova pretty much pays all your bills. Who knows how Fashion Nova has so much money? <laughs> Let's be honest. They pay everybody multi-million dollar deals. I, I don't know any fashion company that's able to pay out so many people millions of dollars. Okay. Um, anyways, if you used to rap and now you call yourself a Uber X, and then pull up and stay out of rich folks business. Mm, okay. Even even Moneybag had to get in this. Then she says, I've been working. I've been so focused, taking care of my son and my family, listening and growing, just enjoying what's in front of me. God has been blessing me more than I can imagine. I refuse to let people get me out of my character because of their inner issues. Do Love and Hip Hop got something against me? She'll probably be on Love and Hip Hop within a year or two. I mean, that's that's a fact. Then uh, Ra'ali claims Ari has been creeping around with her ex for 10 months. That's a legend. We don't know. But 
I believe it. She's been with a lot of people. Javante, Moneybag, G Herbo. I think she was with somebody else before Moneybag. You know, she's getting out there. You know, people like her. Okay, the guys, the guys like her. <laughs> the guys like her. And then, uh, uh, of course, Moneybag Yo steps in. They know who to target for the attention. Don't even be accurate. Mm mm mm. Nah. You might go down as simp of the year if she's cheating on you, money bag. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. I mean, but it looks like you bought her a Lambo. I highly doubt she bought him a Maybach. I'm not trying to be a hater or anything. It just it seems like it looked good. Good for promo. People, you know, you buy people gifts. You don't got to put it all on social media. When they do that, they want to get reposted. They want to make you feel like their life is so great and your life is so bad. <laughs> That's just how they are, man. That's just how it is. Make sure you smash that like button if you're in the room. So, you know, I'm so sick of these, like, Instagram relationships. Because, you know, they're fake as hell. All right. Next, Tory's lawyer speaks out. First, Tory Lane says, well, Time will tell and the truth will come to the light. I have all faith in God to show that. Love to my fans and the people have stayed true to me. In my heart, our charge is not a conviction. If you have supported me and Meg through this, I genuinely appreciate you. Now, you've seen my allegations that I think that, you know, Rock Nation put a little bit of pressure on the senator to put a little pressure on the AG in California to do something with Tory because Tory was a little bit wild out here. Now, Tory's, you know, that's all allegedly, but, you know, things don't just happen out of nowhere three months later. I'm sorry. You know, you, there was no way they were building a case. We're talking about something that was beginning and there was beginning an end to it that night. All evidence would have been collected. Uh, Meg made a statement a month and a half ago. Correct? On IG. Something, nothing happened after that. So, eh, it's a little spooky to me. Uh, anyways, we'll see. You know, Meg has her points, and I'm sure she's right on certain situations. Might be a little bit exaggerated to paint Tory a little worse than he is, but I'm sure he did something that night, okay? So I think we're going to meet somewhere in the middle on this story in the end of things. It's just a guess, a guesstimate that somewhere in the middle the truth will be. Okay, so uh, the lawyer for Tory Lanez casts a little bit of doubt. He says, the victim doesn't appear seriously injured since I started Saturday Night Live last week. Also, I mean, let's be honest, a week after... She was in a picture with DJ Khaled at his house, you know. Um, but, you know, she was definitely injured, okay? So she's not lying. It's just that maybe there's a little bit more to the story than we see. That's that's all. That's all I could say, you know. I'm in the middle. I know some of you have decided already. I don't decide until all the evidence is in, okay? <clears throat> I think that Cardi B and Offset breaking up is cap. It's for attention of some sort. I don't know why. Uh, but, you know, maybe to keep the train going. I don't know what's going on here. But it seems like it's for cap. Because, like, Offset said he misses Miss Wap. And then Cardi B says, thank you, sir. I love it. Happy birthday, mommy. Love culture. Obviously, Offset put up a billboard um, in L.A. for Cardi B to look at. Because I guess it's her birthday. But I'm going to be honest, man. I think they're not broken up. I think it's just for attention. Yeah, you could be you're like, oh, they don't need attention. They have number one records. Um, Listen, attention and power is addicting, obviously. Look, Nancy Pelosi is 85 years old and she will not leave the House of Representatives. Uh, Joe Biden wants to be president at 80. Trump still wants to be president, and he's in his mid-70s, and it's like, you're rich, bro. Like, that just shows you that the power thing is crazy, okay? That's just political, okay? Think about the power Cardi B has, you know? Uh, they want to stay hot. The hotter you are, the more deals that come on the table, okay? You got to stay in the mix, Okay. One damn by a seat. Drunkle. Uh, I see you. Uh, Josh N. Megan. Uh, I, I, yeah, there's a lot of like theories what happened. We all are doing theories because we weren't there. Um, okay, Drunkle's still here. Okay, I appreciate you staying, man. 
Um, then uh, James Game says, just said how she is a millionaire on her own, but can't buy money bag, yo, a Maybach. JT, stay out of rich folks' business. You be hating. No, sir, you fall for anything, okay? James, I appreciate you being in here, but do not fall for anything you see. Most of the, half the stuff you see on social media is fake, bro, okay? Just know that, you know? Do you like being lied to? Or do you like to go along with fantasies on Instagram? Because I prefer the truth, you know? I, I prefer, I hate, I, I if I want to watch a fantasy, I'll read a fiction book, my G. Okay, <laughs> I don't need to see it in light on Instagram. I don't. I don't need to see. I, I want to see real stuff. I don't want to see, fic, you know, these fairy tales. You know, oh my gosh, uh, it's my birthday and I'm getting a two hundred fifty thousand dollar Maybach. I'm spending all my fashion over money. It's all good, man. It's all good. You, you, you're entitled to fall for anything, James, but, and I appreciate you being in here, but don't be like that, bro. Wake up. Okay. Like, I don't want you to feel, uh, you know, like when you look at stuff like that and these people are living these fantasy lives on IG, it could start to subconsciously make you feel worse about yourself without even knowing it. You know, I've been there too. I've been like, geez, I'm not working hard enough, man. I gotta... I, I need more hours in the day, you know? And then you start thinking, you know, some the truth always comes to the light eventually, and you start to see the smoke and mirrors. That's all I'm saying. So don't, don't believe all that because it could really hurt your mentality. You know, that's all I'm saying. Hey, James, no problem, man. I read all the comments. I try to, you know, I, I browse through them, even the great ones. Lucky man, I see you. Demba, I see you. And James, I appreciate you being in here. I'm not I'm not doing a personal going at you, okay? I, I, I think it's easy to fall into that. That's all. I'm just making a point, man. You know? One, one, uh, we, we, we got to make society better. <laughs> Demario Massey, I see you. Hot Sauce 19 is always in the room, and I appreciate that. So is Dem. I see a lot of people that are always in the room. I'm good with names. Okay, so we're going to go through random news now. Uh, 30 seconds into Lupe show. Okay. I'll watch the Lupe and Roy show and I'll tell you guys what I think about it later. But, uh, yeah, it'll be good. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be good. Um, officer charged with Jason Price fired by the city. Well, I'm glad they're like bringing these officers to justice, but it's a shame that these officers get in power in the first place. That aren't right in the head, you know, like they have power straight. You don't need people protecting the people that have power problems, you know, and are uh, and judge people on color. You, you can't do that. OK, you got to judge people on character. OK, seriously, you know. Uh, Big Sean, his first advance from Kanye West was fifteen thousand dollars. Sheesh. I mean, I could see that, you know, but so what? Why is he even talking about that? Is he is he going back on this? Uh, is he gonna get his? Oh, okay. So he's on this Big Sean and Royce the Five Nine talk Detroit Kanye and Joe Budden on Fat Joe Show featuring Royce the Five Nine and Big Sean. Okay, so my first advance was fifteen thousand dollars, bro. As he pointed out, it was a bad deal. Benny the Butcher's new song, Timeless. He talks about, oh, so he talks about it in that song with Benny the Butcher that's out right now. That's pretty good. Check it out. It's Lil Wayne, Benny the Butcher, uh, and Big Sean. Kanye promises to give back 50% share to Big Sean and Good Music Music signees, but still hasn't done it. Kanye owned half of their master recordings, but during his mission to create more transparent environment between him and the labels, tweeted that. I don't think he's ever going to do that, to be honest with you. Because business is business, you know? It's probably more than him that depends on that money. I'm sure he pays people that work for him. I highly doubt Kanye West is going to give that money back. Uh, Roddy Rich is officially in album mode. Oh, my gosh. Let's see what he comes up with this time, man. 
Uh, money bag, yo, and Ari Fletcher, going back. Okay, we already did that one. Uh, Chris Brown takes new girlfriend on a trip days after Amika reunion. I love how they, like, they speculate. <laughs> Kanye West engages Twitter after revealing ballot write-ins. Oh, yeah, because like, they're writing his name in on ballots that don't have his name. You can write a name in. Uh, Young Jock tries. I'm probably going to write a name in, too, this time. You know, because, like, listen, the choice isn't that great. Let's be honest, okay? <laughs> It's not amazing. They're not doing a great job at these parties, you know, picking people, are they? Um, Coco Benz, 21 Savage, Tory Lanez, okay, I think that's about it, man. Uh, Cardi B calls Offset a dummy, but refuses to bash him. So, you know, this is what probably happened. If anything happened, it could be all cap. Okay, so Cardi B defends Offset. I don't give a if you don't like him, I don't talk about him. But you're not going to disrespect my child's father. Da 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 da. Okay, they're still together. But I think that they've been having arguments, and you know, Offset's probably like, "Yo, I'm out. Just left." You know, I mean, come on, it's a superstar. She's a superstar. Super superstar. <laughs> and um, you know, you don't want to take any anyone yelling at you, talking down on you. So you know, you just leave. But then you regret it later because you love the person, right? Anyways, they're probably a good match for each other, let's be honest. They're both famous. They understand what each other's going through. I think they're pretty good for each other, you know? And, and they're, you know, they're good. They both like to get crazy, you know? Is this the first? This is the first live? Yo, we let Drunko. This ain't the first live. This is the first live you might be in. Worldwide Spotlight, I see you, bro. Haven't seen it in a minute. Shout out to you. I miss the Tory Lanes. Is he really being charged? Yes, he is being charged. And there's a lot of doubt around everything. I think, you know, we'll see what happens. I um, mean, he's going to get charged, obviously, with a weapon. I don't know if you can prove the discharge and everything. Because I don't think they collected the evidence. Three months later, they're charging him with that. You know, I think they're going off word of mouth. Now, if the other two people in the car wrote a statement on Tory and he's really lying... Then we got a situation, or it could be pressure from Meg's label. We'll see. Don't forget, they're very politically connected, allegedly. Okay. And the VP is Senator Kelly. <laughs> Let's be honest. Eddie Van Halen, yeah, rest in peace, man. Legend, Eddie. Uh, Eddie Van Halen. Um, my first live, Drunkle. Glad you're in here. Make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe too if you're here. And hit the bell and make sure you all notifications are on because I drop videos often. It's a lot of cap in this situation. Absolutely. Tone Williams. Don't be mad. Listen, I'm in the middle. Okay, Tone? You might feel away already about who did it. You might have your mind made up. I kind of reserve it a little bit, but I totally totally feel you bro you know big up yourself jt uh yeah I, I don't think i deserve it right now maybe one day i just like to keep you know working desmond fuller when demba jesse w was good 1950 films jordan are you going to shoot another music video i don't know man I would do a passion project, probably, like, me and Cormega have talked about doing some stuff after Christmas, maybe. It's classics. Up to him. I want to work with someone where it's fun. Um, I don't want to ever do that chase I did again, because it does, the, the chase you do after everybody, you don't get the rewards, okay? Like, you're supposed to be friends with these people. I, I believed in 2 Chains and a lot of other people. And they'll drop you like a hot potato <laughs> after you really believed in them and poured your heart into their videos. And I, you know, I didn't charge every artist. Like, 2 chains, I didn't charge them. You know, I really believed in them. His name was Titty Boy, <laughs> okay? Guys, smash that like button if you're in the room, please. I appreciate it. Um, but, you know, it doesn't always pay off, you know. Uh, you know, I, I, I believe 
I made some wrong moves back in the day. Uh, you know, I didn't protect myself against managers and stuff like that. Um, and you know, and like things, things kind of like boiled over. You know, I didn't protect myself with the whole World Star situation, which I was supposed to own twenty percent. Uh, I got chipped out of some of, some of that, you know. So you know, like a lot of stuff, man. You know, like and like these are things that you can learn from, and I learned from. Like protect yourself before you get into a situation, because once you get into the situation, things can get bigger than you thought fast, you know. And then you're deep in, and you're losing out. Like World Star, when I joined up with Q and everything, I mean, we got it popping within six months, you know. Mega, my guy, definitely looking for that. I mean, we don't know if that's going to happen, Roger. So calm down. You know, Mega's hard. Like, Mega is my one of my best friends in the music industry. But, you know, it's uh, he's very artistic, you know, when I like to just get stuff done. So we got to meet somewhere in there and then see if he really wants to do it. I'm not sure if he wants to do it. You know, we talked about it. I think if I wrote something really good and it was well planned out, he would do it. I want to upgrade my camera before I do anything either. I'm going to sell my old camera. Can't play nice, JT. Yeah, yeah. When you're doing business, you can't really play nice, you know. Only in the beginning when you're paying dues. By that point, I had paid my dues already. I should have left and started my own site around 2008. I tried to. I tried to. But... uh uh, two designers for the website just took my money and ran. I was having bad luck. Maybe it wasn't meant to be, you know? <laughs> That's all I could say. Interview Dollar Boy. I should, man. You know, I like Dollar. Big up JT. I shot a video with Dollar and I never put it out. Yo, I'm tripping. Yeah, I do stuff. Sometimes. See, that's the thing, man. I'm, I hate editing. <laughs> Holly Denmark, I see. Cash out, spooky. I hate editing. even, And that's where it all is. It's in the edit. But I like shooting it. Editing it kind of stinks. I would rather someone line up at least. Like, line it up so it's all synced. And then edit it. But we'll see. Maybe I'll catch the bug again. But I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't love new rappers. They're cool. I'm not ex as excited as I was about doing vis music videos as I was, you know, 10 years ago. It, it's not as exciting to me anymore. I was excited before. I would stay up all night writing treatments and stuff. I don't have that bug anymore. I have a different bug now. You know, I like, I like creating content at home and coming up with different angles for videos. I like running my other business that pretty much runs itself. I don't really talk about it that much. Um, I like working on my house, you know, like, you know, I like different things, you know? Yeah, it's not your fault, JT. The whole, you know, you grow as a person and sometimes certain things you could tolerate 10 years ago, you can't tolerate today, you know? Plus I put myself at risk a lot. In my twenties, I didn't care, you know? I would put myself at risk, da, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> like... I I I could have been uh, I could have been caught up in some bad stuff multiple times. I was lucky, you know. I went to some of the worst hoods in the nation repeatedly, you know, by myself. I'm lucky, man. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. It's not that I, I it's not that I'm a tough guy or anything. I was just lucky to be around the right people. Let's just be honest. You was in the trenches back in the day with Jules Santana. It wasn't really so much the trenches. We went to Harlem. I mean, that's not that bad. But Jules Santana and I did some work together. Braver door. <laughs> Big wave, I see. Uh, Swirl Girl. It's a dirty game. And yes, it is. That's another song I would love to do with Cormega for a music video. Dirty game. That's a great... That's a great song right there. I think Cormega has a video coming out soon, too. Not by me. By somebody else. But definitely has a video dropping soon. That Nas album is nice. Smooth. Probably one of the best Nas albums we've gotten in a long time. You could tell like he's back in his bag. Back he's very focused. Nas is something else right now, you know? That's what made you the you know, pulled up in the late two thousands. Gucci, everybody. 
you know, I started in Queensbridge with, you know, Mob Deep, Core Mega, Infamous Mob. Um, and then I went on to do the come up with Fendi. We teamed up and we did, you know, Nick Minaj, Gravy, Mano, Uncle M, uh, Little Wayne, you know, like just so much stuff. And then it grew to the Jewels and everything else. And then Yo Gotti, you know, like it just kept building stuff. DJ Clue and I did a lot of work together until that didn't work out. <laughs> it just, the only thing that didn't work with me and DJ Clue is that we were gathering footage and it never dropped. You know, like he didn't know what to do with it. He was in a bad situation. It's not only his fault. It was a bad situation where he had left MTV, was doing his radio show, but it was a little bit blackballed at the moment, you know, but Clue's good now. But back then, I think his moves were kind of off. That's all. He was in a weird predicament at that time. We had put a trailer together for a TV show. MTV rejected it, but Spectrum was going to give us like a Diddy type of deal. Like you got a revolt, but then you're creating, you know, you got, it's hard to create 12 hours of content every day you know it's almost impossible you know you would need millions and millions and millions of dollars but I, diddy could do it easily uh because he has more connections he can get people to do things i mean he could have everybody creating content for him vlog style that would have been good you don't have to you could have a different approach to tv but you know, unfortunately, uh, there's nobody over there that thinks like that. I would think like that. I would be like, let's go out the box and do it, you know, raw. People like things more raw. They don't like it all polished up, you know. King Ice, Memphis, Tennessee, checking in. I hope all you guys are subscribed and hit the like button, too. That's very important. So you can stay up to date with me. I drop a lot of content. I try my best to drop five videos a day. I try my best, so... I hope you guys subscribe and hit that like button and hit the bell with all notifications on. And my mother lives in Edgemere. Oh, I know Edgemere. Edgemere is serious. I think they rebranded it as uh, Ocean something or something like that. Not Ocean Village. That's right next to Edgemere. Uh, what was the... What was the one? What did they rebrand it? Ocean something. And then Hamels. I used to be out in Hamels uh, with Core Mega. We did some music videos in Hamel. You on your grind. I appreciate it. People swear Queens. Queens definitely is far from soft. But far Rockaway is probably one of the most dangerous parts of the city. Nicest parts of the city where you get, but there's a certain part where it gets a little spooky, much. You know, like. You'll be right on the ocean thinking this is like nice. And as you go down ocean uh, and you get to like Ocean Village and Edgemere, it gets a little spooky for a second. Come on, my G. I always watch your videos. I be on my move. I can't comment all the time, but I smash that like button and listen. Roger Brown, I appreciate it. I am decreased. You on your grind and swirl girl. All right, guys, what, what are we at? Almost 30 minutes. I appreciate you guys for being in here. So we've pretty much talked about everything. Um, I'll put up another video in about an hour or two. I appreciate you guys coming in. I'm going to keep going live every day. I like I like connecting with you guys a lot. So make sure you smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button because that's the only way you're going to know I'm live. And that's the only way you're going to know I'm dropping a video. I'll drop another video in like two hours on another topic. You guys are amazing, and I appreciate you guys so much, and you guys are capable of anything. Believe that. Only judge people on character, not color. Character. I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys. You guys are all beautiful. I appreciate you. And you guys have an amazing, amazing day. Appreciate you guys. Smash that like button for positive vibes.